Hello everybody, I'm going to talk about um, heat safety, heat or summer heat safety, right? When we're talking about heat safety, like the warm weather, when the weather is very warm, it can also trigger an urge to be, to be um, outdoor, right? For you to go outdoor. But funny enough, in the, suns, in the sunshine can also be dangerous when the heat and humidity arise or rise into certain level. In addition, the sunburn heat related illness can spoil summer fun and also send on unsuspected victim to hospital, right? This simply means that when the weather increase, sometimes it can lead to humidity and humidity also sometimes can affect the skins of people and it can lead to heat, overheat in your body and sometimes it can lead to illness, right? So the human body um, keep itself cool by allowing the heat to escape through the skin and by the evaporating the results of perspirations but if the body cannot cool itself that period, the person could suffer from the heat-related disease, like heat-related disease over heat, they become like uh, feeling upset, right, dizzy, you know. So illness also can cause by overheat and can become a serious and also even deadly threat. So we have to watch out about the heat safety. We are in, in terms of highly temperature area, or highly temperature condition you have to assess and know whether it should be under the, the weather at that particular time so what so who is at risk in this period right i'm going to measure three points who is at risk number one everyone is um, um susceptible to heat um, related um uh, illness however this group are at a high risk right then point number two, senior citizens, especially those living living alone in non ear condition environments, people that are living in non ear condition environments also. Then point number three, in fact, infants and children also can be affected by the weather, the heat, right? Then point number four, um, people with medical condition, especially those those with heart disease and high blood pressure can also be affected by heat. So these are the four, four, four people that are in risk for heat safety, right? So I'm going to talk about the prevention. I can prevent the, the heat if overheating or the weather is very harsh. In the prevention method um, is to help prevent heat related illness following are uh, these are the safety precautions that we need to follow i'm going to mention five points point number one you have to avoid strenuous outdoor activities when possible or reserve the outdoor activities for the cooler morning and evening hours so this simply means that if the weather is very ash outside you have to know then you have to assess before going outside in the hot weather you have to if you want to do outdoor activities you have to do it in the morning hours or in the evening hours because in the morning hours when the sun is just coming up so it will be easier it's not be that warm but if also in the evening also the sun is coming down so the weather also is been decreasing right then point number two you have to we are losing fitting or lightweight cloth, right? Or light color cloth, or also apply a sunburn uh, cream in your body, right? So this simply means that you do in the hot period, you don't have to wear a tight cloth or or some color like a black. You have to be careful because it can also uh, overheat. Uh, it will react to your body, right? Then also point number three, you have to stay well or, or hydrated and avoid alcohol, alcohol, alcoholic and um, cafeteria or cafe, cafe, caffeine, right? So this simply means that you have to avoid caffeine in a hot period like coffee or other beverages, you know, or alcohol when the weather is very hot, right? Then point number four, you have to eat small meal uh, more frequently, right? 
So, then point number five, never leave your children or adults or pets in a closed place when the weather is very hot or inside a vehicle. When the vehicle is very hot, don't leave your child or your pet inside. In the summer, um, you have to close, you have to close your car. Temperature can increase from 78 degree to 100 degree in just three minutes so that simply means that if you 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 you, you leave your car your your kids inside a car so you might find out that the temperature also is increasing when the ac is off it can increase from 78 percent to almost 100 degree so you have to watch out for that then i'm going to talk about the signs and symptoms of heat sickness or heat heels heat um like when someone is overheat, right? Then the symptoms that you can ha have, right? Um, Heart-related illness is culminative. If you experience symptoms, administers or seek treatment immediately. If you're feeling dizzy, like when it's very hot, you're feeling upset or dizzy, immediately seek for medical assistance. Because sometimes you feel upset and dizzy. If you don't be careful, you can just pass out if someone is not there, right? So I'm going to talk about three points here. Point number one in uh, the symptom that you can have, heat scrap right like you have in camp on your foot or uh, uh, part of your body so then it's very painful muscle cramp and also uh, um, usually in the legs or the stomach then the treatment for this is slowly um, rehydrated and a uh, scratching of the muscle right then point number two heat of exhaustion Calling moisture or peeling or flush and red skin, your skin can become red or headache or dizziness or weakness or exhaust. You feel like just weak or nasal, like flu or vomiting. Treatment, right? Then you have to rest in a very cold place when you've been affected, like you're feeling dizzy or headache. You have to find a very cold place, you rest. Then you remove your cloth or you open up your cloth for you to have a fresh ear. Then you have to try to drink water at least to, for you to, to calm down your radiation, right? Then you have to call the emergency system if you know that, ah, these things is getting worse. So you have to call the emergency system, you know. If, um, like for example, someone just passed out and you are there, right? You are there. You have to apply a wet cloth on this person who like have heat or be fainted. You have to apply a so-called cloth on him, right? Then also you're talking about point number three, heat stroke. Heat stroke or sunburn, right? A hot or red skin, your, your skin can become red or the person's skin can become red, you understand? Decreasing alertness or unconscious weak or high temperature the treatment for this one, immediately apply a wet cloth to the skin of the person or your skin, right? Or eyes, you know, to, to the wrists or the ankle, right? If someone is facing its stroke, you see his body is very red or red, so you have to try to apply a ice, you know, ice or cold cloth, or like you, you put water on the cloth and try to apply on the person's body. So this eats it's um illness has caused a lot of problems because people don't know the solution so whenever you see someone gets feel dizzy because of the weather or the heat right you have to first you try to take this person to a calm or a cool place right then if you have like a cloth you have to put water on it that is the first aid treatment you have to put water on it you try to put on the ankle or where the blood is the movement of the body because maybe there might be cramp there so for the person to regain his consciousness so to conceptualize all this one we have to you look at the heat safety in every environment you have to look at, check the weather climate if you know that the weather is very ash you don't need to go out or you have to use something like a safety precaution so you have to use the hat you have to be careful and watch out you always have to drink lots of water to keep yourself fit you understand you have to take lots of fruit also so i stop here then subscribe to my youtube channel for more advice on safety